another edition of Eric's Product Reviews presented by HollywoodFrodo.com. I, of course, am Eric, and today we're going to be talking about the Neato Robotics Robot Vacuum. Um, this is kind of uh, every house owner's, apartment owner's, anyone who's ever had to clean anything, you know, it's like a dream come true. Uh, when you're a kid, you dreamed of a day that a, there'd be robots walking around your house doing things for you. But most importantly, robots that would clean for you so that you don't have to clean. And uh, that's what this uh, uh, contraption does. Uh, now, if you've looked into uh, robotic vacuums at all, then you've probably noticed there are really two that stand out. Uh, the Roomba and Neato Robotics. Those are the two companies that obviously make seem to make the best ones, um, and there are a few differences between them. Uh, after I did my research, I went with the Neato Robotics, and uh, it's been really great, really awesome. Uh, love the way it works. A uh, few things about it. I'm going to turn it up here so you can see. It has this uh, flap underneath here, which helps uh, any particles or, or, or dust and dirt that's in your carpet or on your floors uh, helps sweep it up into the vacuum. Uh, we use this uh, mostly on wood laminate floors, uh, but we also have some carpeted, er, carpeted areas that we use it on. Uh, it's really good. The suction, the vacuum suction from it is very strong. It's uh, as strong as you would expect from any normal vacuum. So it does a really good job of uh, vacuuming up and su suctioning things up into it. Um, as you see, the feet are out right now, and they go in. And the reason for that is to allow it to go over uh, rugs or slightly higher piled carpets. Now, if your carpet is extremely high piled carpet, or especially like a rug that's really, really a huge shag rug, it's not going to work on that. Um, but on, uh, it will work on varying piles of uh, carpet, not just smooth floors. Um, but it is safe, like I said, for wood laminate or wet floors. And it works great on that as well. Um, this little guy is smart. Uh, you can program it so that it comes on at certain times. Uh, or you can just start it up anytime you want to. Uh, you can have, have it spot clean. So you can uh, put it, if there's just a certain area that you need vacuumed, you can put it in a small little area and say spot clean, and it'll just uh, clean a small square area. Uh, or you can have it clean an entire room and an entire area. Uh, it maneuvers around things great. Uh, we have a dining room table. I'm gonna show you some video of this. A dining room table with anywhere from four to six chairs, or actually I think eight chairs around at any given point in time, on the sides and the end, and this guy actually maneuvers around all the chairs. It doesn't just go around the dining room table, it goes underneath and around the uh, chair legs, and does a great job of that. Uh, what else did I tell you about it? This is the, uh, the empty tray, and you can see we vacuumed recently, so you can see the the stuff that it's collected in there, like I said, it does a good job. It picks up a lot of stuff. And we have a dog, so uh, it picks up a lot of pet hair. Um, and then you have this little filter, replaceable filter, which you pop out and dump this stuff out. You can clean this off, but after, you know, so many cleanings, and you just replace this. Um, goes back in, just like that, very simple. Uh, it detects stairs without any problem. So if you have stairs, it will not run off the stairs. When it gets to the edge of the stairs, it will know that it's a, there's an edge and it'll stop and turn around. Uh, it also comes with some markers you can lay down. So if there's a certain area you don't want it to go over, you can just lay these uh, sort of like a rubber, thin rubber, uh, 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 or just like a thin piece of rubber basically, that you lay down to mark a certain area that you don't want it to go into and it won't go into that area. Um, it's, uh, it isn't quiet because it's a vacuum and it's got a lot of power, a lot of suction going on. So just like any vacuum you've probably ever used, it sounds about the same as that. Oddly enough though, our dog who hates the regular vacuum and thinks like it's the most evil thing in the world out to kill everybody, it completely ignores this, doesn't bother her at all. So go figure. Uh, but anyway, that's about it. Uh, it's programmable, it's great, uh, you just need to see it in action. So I'm going to cut in, uh, or maybe I've already cut in, 
with some shots of it in action. about it. Until next time. So have a great day.